I'm Dr. Catherine. Today we're gonna to be talking about why your dog is scooting or dragging their butt along the ground. We're gonna chat quickly about why dogs scoot and also what to do about it. So one of the most common reasons why a dog will be dragging their butt around the ground is that they have an issue with their anal glands. And if you're not already familiar with this delightful piece of a dog's anatomy, let me educate you. Anal glands are two little glands that exist near a dog's butthole. And normally when a dog defecates, a little bit of fluid will be secreted from them and that has a really stinky scent that helps to communicate with other dogs. Often though, especially in smaller breed dogs or dogs that don't have enough fiber in their diet or if they have the wrong kind of shape and conformation of the glands, the glands can get impacted and this will cause a dog a lot of discomfort. Sometimes the glands can also develop some um, inflammation or uh, even get abscessed. If your dog is having issues with their anal glands, the best thing you can do is take them to a veterinarian to have them assessed. It may be that the dog's glands require uh, expressing. If they're impacted, you may need to manually express them. Sometimes groomers will express glands for you. Sometimes it's also something you could theoretically do at home yourself if you're brave, but I do recommend going and having them assessed by a veterinarian because if there's something else going on, let's say there's an abscess there or something, having a non-veterinary person express them could lead to a lot more problems and also be really painful. If there is an abscess or if they're inflamed in some way, they may also require some additional treatment like um, expressing under an anesthetic because they're really painful or flushing them or also some antibiotics as well. Impacted anal glands often need to be regularly expressed if it is an issue with the dog's anatomy um, and sometimes providing some extra fiber in the diet can help too. Um, but that's something to discuss with your veterinarian to make sure you're doing the right thing for your particular dog's issues. Another common reason why a dog will scoot their butt on the ground is that their butt feels irritated as a result of worms. Tapeworms are a very common one. Tapeworms are, are very commonly seen when your dog has fleas. Unfortunately, fleas help to carry the tapeworms and you may have seen them, they're little like white segments around your dog's butt. Um, those as you can probably imagine, are quite irritating to have around a dog's butt. So they'll scoot around and they might lick around the area as well, um, just because it feels so irritated. If you are seeing any signs of worms, um, then the best thing you can do is go chat to your veterinarian about them so they can prescribe a, a dewormer. If it's tapeworm, you're gonna to wanna to address a flea issue as well. And I'll include a link here to my video on everything you need to know about controlling fleas in your home and also for your dog. So now we've discussed the most common reasons why a dog will be scooting. Again, most commonly it's because they have an anal gland issue. A little less commonly is because they have worms. If you have any questions, please pop them in the comments below and be sure to subscribe to my channel. I upload new videos on dog care every week. Thanks so much for watching.